Hey, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. We're in the Universal Audio booth here at Winter Nam 2020. We're with Carlin from BusyWorks Beats. Glad to see you, man. Awesome, yeah. It's like I'm meeting a legend in person. It's kind of surreal. Oh, man, come on. We were just talking. You're the guy that's got all the views, man. Those videos, you're just cranking them out. Indeed. But, you know, when you serve the people, that's what really matters. And that's why I said I have a ton of respect for Mitch. Because I see your face and I'm like, how does he know everything about everything about everything that I, that I look up on the website? So I just have a deep respect. Oh, well, thank and you so much. Likewise, likewise. So tell me a little bit about how you got into doing this. Mm -hmm. Basically, I was in my mom's extra bedroom and I had to figure out a way. College loans were coming, the student debt. And I said, how am I going to pay the student loan? And my back was against the wall, and I said YouTube was my only option. And I just said I have to go all in, and I made that decision, sacrifice the stuff that doesn't matter, and now we're here. That's really what it comes down to. Right. How how much desire do you have? How much do you want it that bad? Mm -hmm. how you so how did you get things going? How did you get rolling? Were you doing a video a day, a video a week, and how were you promoting yourself? Uh, it really started with a uh, Facebook group and I was helping people solving their questions. But with music, you can't really type out, hey, here's how you change the low-pass filter. Right. It, it doesn't make any sense. So I had to show them via video. So I had the, uh, uh, what's it called? Not Candy Cam, one of those camera things, uh, apps, and I had the demo, and I just recorded the screen. Now I went to school for pre-med, which is way different than music. That's why I respected your grad degree, your, you going to all these different places because it really does take a journey of um, knowledge and seeking wisdom. And I think a lot of people just seek the tactics and not the wisdom. That's an interesting point. You know what I mean? Yeah, there is a difference, right? Indeed. Yeah. So, so what's your vision for next year for you? Because I know you create a lot of the energy behind a lot of these companies. So what's next, or what's this year, 2020 for you? 2020 for us? Well, we'll be you know, more of the same, certainly. A lot of product demos, hopefully a lot of artist interviews. But I'd like to move myself more into some of the more tutorial kinds of things. And because I think that if you show someone how to use the gear, they're going to be that much more engaged with it and that much more interested. Exactly. And that's why, again, I can't say it enough. His deep knowledge of, it's just incredible. I just respect that. I wish I could understand how what I don't know. Because if I knew what I didn't know, I would know what to chase to get to the next level. So do you still find curiosity in what you do? Do you still find there's like stuff you don't know? Oh, yeah, man. I, I, I just love gear. You know, I've always loved gear. And so for me, there's nothing better than a new piece of gear shows up that I've never used before. And get to plug that in and explore it and figure it out and figure out how to present it. Because a big part of what interests me is who is that for, right? Because every piece of gear has a customer for it. And the question is who and why. And so that's what we really try to get to with our videos. Right, and it's more than just saying, hey, here's the new you know, thing. It's like you have, to, you have to create desire for someone else. You literally spark desire in someone else. And that's a skill in itself, plus the wisdom of the thing. Plus, so that's why I have a deeper respect, because you're actually in it, you're doing it, and, um, and we're just here to have fun. I mean, I can't complain. Can't complain at all, right? It's not like working, right? Indeed, like <laughs> find your passion to everybody out there. Find what makes you wake up in the morning and get excited and chase that because one day I had to work. Do you do a lot of, you said you do a lot of recording or did a lot of recording? Yeah, sure. I tried recording and I'm, I, it just, for 48 hours, I almost like, you know, jumped, jumped out the window because it just, it was too, it wasn't something that I liked to a deep level. Right. But I love music, but not that process of it. So you got to find something that doesn't drive you nuts when you're doing it for eight hours straight. And that's the key. And finding collaborators where if you're not into the recording side of it, find someone who's great at it and really wants to do that, and then you bring your talents, combine it with theirs, and the sum is greater than the two parts, right? The, the whole is bigger than the two parts. Indeed. He's speaking on leverage. Yeah. Leverage is the ultimate key, but that's for a different seminar, you know, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> a different one of these. We'll throw our own, like, seminar or something. But, right. again, I just appreciate you, Mitch. And Justin? Justin behind the camera? Behind right. the cam, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always got to give credit. He's the guy who does all the work. Oh, you edit and everything? He's part of the team. Yeah, we have a team back at Sweetwater that shoots and edits. Everybody does everything. But yeah. Justin manages that team. He's amazing. Wow. The man himself. The Justin. Man himself. And yeah. the actual man himself. The I'm actual honored. man himself. I'm honored and <laughs> blessings to Sweetwater and everybody involved. It's game. Busyworksbeats.com. Right on. Awesome. Is that good? Great to see you, man. It was awesome. Oh, Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Of course.